Welcome back to Real Training Camp with the Los Angeles Lakers in El Segundo, California. Things wrapping up. Phil Jackson bringing the team in. And letting them break. All right. And that is, as it is, has wrapped up here at the uh, Toyota Sports Center, Mark Fine and Norm Nixon, now joined by Kobe Bryant, if you didn't recognize him. Uh, first question's got to be everybody's going to want to know how you're feeling. We see the knee wrapped. How's the knee and the finger? Doing well. You know, knee's doing you know, much better than it did. You know, than, than it was last year in the playoffs. Um, so it, it's getting stronger. And, you know, the finger kind of is what it is, but it's it, that's feeling good, too. Well, I want to ask you about the World Cup. How was the World <laughs> Cup, man? <laughs> you know, it, was, uh, it was an amazing experience. I got a chance to actually sit, you know, with the crowd and uh, hear those foofazellas going crazy. <laughs> all the, you know, it was, it was a wonderful experience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back. You know, you, you ask the fun questions. Yeah, I, mean, I yeah, gotta yeah. Stick to the business. We're not seeing you out on the floor yet. Can you let fans at home know maybe what the timetable is with the knee? When will you be running, Phil? When you'll be back to? When to it's do ready, it? I'll play. Okay. Simple as that. That means he'll be playing uh, opening night, though. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I want him to take his time. You know. But uh, I, I noticed something very interesting about your practice. Uh, it seems like you guys go through very basic, fundamental stuff for most of the practice. Is that Phil's style, or have you been doing this since you've been here with Phil? Since uh, first day of camp, when we first got here in 2000, 99, 2000, um, you know, we had practices like this, and it's been that way since he's been here. You know, he's a very fundamental coach. Uh, he preaches the basics, and he wants us to master those basics, and uh, that's all we do. Is that tough for veterans to come into camp and have to go through those same tedious things? I mean, I'm sure there are kids at home watching don't like doing it in their practices. At least they come see you guys go through the same thing. After you win championships, no, it's not. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. You understand but, what gets you there. But I will say this for veterans. Most veterans don't want to do training camp anyway. <laughs> He's mentioned you know, that a couple of know, times Phil's, today. Uh, Phil's camps, though, aren't, aren't that crazy. Hard. I mean, he's not, you know, because he understands it's a long season. He understands he has a veteran group. He's never been the kind of coach that really pushes players to do all these sprints and all sort of stuff. He'll run you a little bit, um, but for the most part, it's all X's and O's, and it's all fundamental work. When we talk about feeling winning championships, what is the one uh, characteristic that you think he brings to the table that – uh, enables you guys to continue to win and play at this level all the time? Well, it's his understanding of the momentum of the game and and the basics of it. I mean, he's not a coach that's a rah-rah coach and, and guys' faces and trying to pump them up and motivate them. You know, he preaches the basics and he preaches the style of play that we want to have, and he does that on a consistent basis, so the message is the same. Now, and I know usually in the summer times, you're a maniac when it comes to working out. Did you get some rest this summer, man? Yeah, I didn't do anything all summer. <laughs> I, I really just, you know, that was, that was my training. Good, you know, good. resting was my training. So. Talk, talk a little bit about the new guys. I mean, this is a team back-to-back -back championships, and there's no question you guys have picked up some some guys both, you know, through free agency and also through the draft that that should be good additions. Yeah, we got some, you know, key additions. Yeah. Obviously, you know, Matt's a big big part. You know, Steve Blake's one of the most underrated pickups of the off season. Bringing Derek back, obviously, uh, Theo Ratliff, who looks. Uh, does not look 37. Um, and then obviously the rookies that we drafted, you know, we feel like they have a lot of promise as well. Uh, so we got a good group. And, group. and that's got to be, for, for the veterans, that's got to be a big deal too in terms of rejuvenating. Look, you're trying to do something. You can't say it's unprecedented because Phil's looking to do it for the fourth time with the three-peat. But by the same token, something that's obviously very difficult and you're not just standing pat. You're trying to make improvements. Well, I mean, every year is a different challenge. You know, I, we don't try to group years together. Uh, we just approach this season as something new, something fresh. And, um, you know, if we win it again, if we're fortunate enough to win it again, the end result is a three-peat. But it's not something that you think about on a day-to-day -day basis. It's about how are you going to win this season with the group that we have. And, and in talking about that, staying on that same line of thinking, what are the one or two areas you think you'd like to see this team improve on? Or, or what are the two most important things that you think you guys need to do in, in order to keep it's winning? All, it's always pace? defense and rebounding. It's, yeah. that's, that's always the key for us. We feel like um, you know, if we do those things, we'll be fine. You know, we have enough firepower to generate offense. You know, your offense is going to struggle from time to time, but we feel like for the most part we have guys that can step up and make contributions offensively. You know, but defensively and rebounding is, is what gets those championships. Right. With Phil, you know, the conjecture is that this will be his last season. Obviously, there's a little wiggle room that, that's been left there. But ha has that changed things at all? As you guys talk about that all, what's the feeling around the team concerning that? No, we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We, uh, you know, 
we, we approach it the way he he's taught us to approach the game, which is take it day by day. You, know, you don't think about what's going to happen in the future. You, know, you just think about the moment that you're in. Okay, the moment that we're in right now is we're sitting here at Real Training Camp with the L.A. Lakers, and I've said this already several times during the course of this show. There has got to be less attention for a back-to-back -back championship team than there's ever been in the history of sports <laughs> because of what is going on on a beach on the other side of the country. What's that been like to watch that whole thing unfold and, and, and to have it? Really, it's had somewhat of an effect on what's going on over here. It's been great for, for all of us. I think it's, you know, it's been great for me. You know, I... I like you guys. I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't really like dealing with all that hoopla. So it, it's, uh, but it's, it's been good. Well, what do you think about that? I mean, tell us a little bit what your thoughts are. There's been so much. That, look, LeBron James was vilified by a lot of people around the country after his decision to go to Miami and the three of them getting together. People have used the term collusion, and it's a lot of people looking at it negatively. What's Kobe Bryant think about it? <laughs> you know, I, I'm happy for them. I've said this, and I continue to say this. Um, you know, I'm happy for him because he's happy in his decision. And uh, D. Wade, obviously, because he's had a couple of years down there in Miami where, um, you know, it was a struggle for him. And you know, he was too talented to be in that kind of a situation. So, um, and Chris as well. So, you know, they're all happy. And um, so I'm happy for them. Well, back to you. I'm going to talk about your injuries again. You, you did not want to get the finger taken care of. Why did well, you make that I mean, decision? It's, it's, uh, the timetable for recovery was just too extensive. Mm -hmm. uh, for me to miss a significant part of the season for an injury that I've played with anyway. Right. You know, it just didn't make sense for, you know, for me to do that. You making any changes, adjustments? Do you work on things in the way you're shooting the basketball and handling the basketball with the thing? You know what? Last year was from game to game. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I, you know, it depends on where I got hit and uh, how hard I got hit and you know, how I was taped up. And uh, This year, hopefully, it won't be that way. So far, I've been able to shoot without it being taped up. Um, did some things on the court yesterday. He got hit on it pretty good, and, and you know it was fine. So I'm optimistic that I won't have to play <laughs> with that cast. <laughs> Revisiting the championship, you lost to Boston. You beat Boston. How sweet was that to have an opportunity to go back to get the team that beat you? Well, no, it was great because you know those opportunities don't come along too often. Getting to the finals didn't come along too often. Be able to get him back in the finals, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was, it's, uh, it was, it, we're very fortunate to have that chance. And, you know, and also measure ourselves, right. and to you know, for us, it was like, okay, can we face these guys and can we beat them? Um, because we know how they played us in '08. So it was about you know how much have we improved since then, and our toughness and our execution. You know, can we get through this team? And you know, we we're able to do it. All right, I'm, I'm going to bring it. You say, can you get through that team? And I'm going to bring it back to the Miami thing because we talked about, you know, them getting vilified and you being happy for them. That said, let's talk about the basketball side of things and what challenge you think they might present in the league and for you guys at some point. I have no idea. I haven't played one game yet. <laughs> <laughs> True statement. Well, well, you know, coach, you know, your coach talked about the fact that a team, it's a team game, and that's more important in, in looking ahead at what they may be able to provide, and that's the challenge for them, right, in terms of how competitive they're going to be. I don't think that's a challenge for them. I, I, I really don't. I mean, for, for me, it's just a matter of what style of play are they going to have. That's why I can't answer okay. your question because I don't know. You don't know. know how they're going to play. I don't right. think it's a matter of them gelling together. I've, I've been around these guys on the Olympic team. Right. I, I see how well they, they, you know, they play together. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. It's going to be interesting to see when you guys face off. You we'll still certainly need big men. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a big part of it. Hey, and Lamar Odom's a center now, right? And he played center in the outside. So you got another big guy there. Hey, Kobe, appreciate you taking the, the time. Best of luck it. this season. Thank Hopefully you all, all healed up and ready to go when it gets underway. Yeah, we'll see. Thanks. All right, thanks. Kobe Bryant family. joining us. Uh, real training camp, L.A. Lakers style. We're going to take another time out. We come back more from Los Angeles. Keep it here. Straight away three, got it. Odom attacks down Broadway up to the rim and scoops it in with a left hand. Odom no good, Odom flushes the rebound up and in. Pull up from three, good. Once again, nice throw by Odom. Yeah. Welcome back to Los Angeles, California. Real training camp here in... Uh, Mark Fine and Norm Nixon now joined by Lamar Odom. And, Lamar, appreciate yep. you taking the time. No problem. Anytime. 
congratulations Thanks a lot. on the championship in the off yeah. season and also on the anniversary. Today's oh, thank your you. anniversary. Yeah, happy yeah, anniversary, yeah, anniversary man. today. <laughs> one year. We made it. <laughs> we made it through a year. So it's real now. Beat the nation. Hey, uh, you know what? Let's start with this because we've talked to everybody about it. This time last year, that was part of the reason things were so crazy in here as you were getting the season underway. People yeah. talking about your wedding, everybody looking at the Lakers repeat mm -hmm. this year. A lot of the attention on the other coast. Do you guys like it that way? Yeah. I mean, it's cool. You know, this is L.A. You know, we're still rock stars in our own right. <laughs> and, um, you know, we have an incredible city, um, you know, that supports us tremendously. And it's a great place to live and awesome place to play basketball as well. Well, Lamar, how are you getting ready for this season? You didn't have a chance to rest. And with Andrew Bynum down, you're going to have to log a lot of minutes. How are you yeah. preparing yourself for this season? Just mentally staying focused, you know. Um, you know, I train a lot. You know, I love the box. Um, stay in shape, do different things, you know, off the court to stay in shape, eat a little better this <laughs> season. Eat better now. Yeah, Eating better. <laughs> eat better this season. Um, just taking my time, resting. Well, you know. I, I tell you, your father-in-law know a little bit about working out. That was one of the greatest athletes in the world. Yeah, in Bruce yeah, Tim. he's there dying to get me out on the, on the golf course. So. Not <laughs> on the Maybe track, the time. golf course. Yeah, he wants to play golf. He's going to play golf all the time. Hey, let, talk a little bit about the FIBA experience, and we, we congratulated you on it and, and joked a little here in the beginning about mm -hmm. uh, your anniversary, but talk about what kind of experience that was and, and how much you enjoyed it. It was awesome. You know, it was one of the most powerful things I've ever done in my life, um, to be able to stand there um, and, and see your flag being raised, um, you know, to, to hold the gold medal. Uh, we had a tremendous group of guys. Um, the coaching experience was, was great. Um, I'm lucky I've been... Um, taught by Pat Riley, Phil Jackson, now Mike Krzyzewski, yeah. a little bit of Larry Brown and Greg Popovich. <laughs> so <laughs> I got my basketball and booked what, the right. And what was it like getting a rebound, giving it to those young legs you had playing with you in yeah, that FIBA championship? They were amazing. They were tremendous. Like, they're tremendous basketball players, um, of course, and um, tremendous athletes. Of course, you know, Durant, he stayed hot the whole tournament. Um, Russell Westbrook, Rudy Gay running out in the wings. And, <laughs> it was just like, it was easy. Once we played defense, our goal was to be the best defensive team in the tournament. And, you know, once we kind of signified that, then the rest was just, just basketball. A, a lot of talk about you playing at the center position, and people were concerned that maybe if you guys had an issue, it might be size. Talk, though, about that and looking back at the experience mm -hmm. now. Playing in that position, did you learn anything? Did it improve your game? Did it change your, your outlook playing that position? Um. I mean, it's not too much different from the from the four and the five. Um, what we were able to do and what we focused on was, you know, digging the ball out of the post, just not letting, you know, me stand there and just, you know, fight with guys, just digging the ball out of the post, making them kick it back out, um, run those guys off their shots, um, and just speed the game up. You know, basketball is basketball. It's a universal language. You know, it's the same all over the world. Right. Did Did you talk, by the way, with Westbrook Durant? You guys talk at all about that first round <laughs> yeah. matchup or any of the playoffs? Nah, <laughs> not too much. They didn't bring it yeah. up. Not too much. Not too much. But um, those guys were real receptive as far as um, receiving information, and um, you know they understand what it takes to work hard, and they they want to win. And I respect that, and I can't give out too many of, of our secrets. <laughs> yeah. I, I asked Kobe the same question, and. and Heading into this season, mm -hmm. what are the one or two areas you'd like to see this team improve in order to st stay at that same level of winning you were at last year? It's got to be defense, man. You know, we got guys that can score the ball, man. We got, got a guy that can score 81 sounds points. Familiar. <laughs> sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. Sounds a little familiar, a little you know, like what Kobe said. You know, you got guys that, you know, Powell, you know, he's one of the best ever, maybe offensively, big man, when you talk about how he shoots the ball out 15 feet, um, the way he uses his left and his right hand, how he plays the – point guard position from the post. Um, you know, and Drew, we can score the ball. Shannon Brown gets hot shots. Here. These guys can hit shots. But um, to, to, to remain on top and, this, and, and to stay relevant, you have to be the best defensive and, team. And, and without buying him, how does that change your role starting at the beginning of the season? Um, you know, I have to rebound the ball. Um, like you said, play a lot of minutes. Um, you know, play tough post D, make some shots, um, shoot the ball well from the outside so we can spread the court and let Kobe – and pal, you know, work that post. And getting to post myself, like you always, <laughs> like you always tell me to. <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to let you get going. It's your yeah. anniversary. we got to let you go yeah, celebrate. Yeah, I'm going to go to lunch. I appreciate you no taking problem. the time. Certainly best Congrats. of luck. Thanks a lot. Best Congrats. of luck this season. Thanks Lamar lot, Odom, the Los Angeles Lakers, as we are at real training camp here with the L.A. Lakers. Mark Fine along with Norm Nixon. And, uh, again, we're going to let Lamar uh, go.